Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. In this video, we're actually going to go over a video I just posted on my channel on Friday and fix some errors that were pointed out to me in the comments. Now, here's the video right over here. And uh, while I can well, certainly I do play that, it like this, uh, I've got the same code here. So I'll just walk you through it. But just so you know, if you saw this one right here, that's the one we're fixing. I don't plan on this getting a ton of views. I'm not going to try to sensationalize the, the title or anything. I just figured it might be useful to kind of walk through what I've been learning. And hopefully I've kind of got this more optimized. So you can let me know in the comments below. And uh, I don't know that I'll do a third video just <laughs> because uh, at some point, nobody but me will be watching. But here you can see what we were trying to do is to avoid this double loop, once for the filter and once for the map. So I'm looping over this people array twice, and it does give me what I want, which is anybody over the age of 24, and then added this property is cool equals true to their you know, to their object. So that does work. What I did in the video was I said, hey, instead of doing this double loop, you can loop over everything once with a reduce method. Now, kind of technically that is true. The problem is I didn't really pay attention to the performance issues of the way I did this. So what we're doing is we're looping over the accumulated value, which in this case starts as an empty array. We're basically adding to that each time by spreading in the accumulated value and then tacking on this object of is cool equals true uh, or the, the person with is cool equals true if they are over the age of 24. Now this works and in fact if I come down here and run this again you can see I get back exactly what I want. The problem is that by spreading in right here I'm actually losing all my efficiency. And if I jump over to the comments I had several people say that like Clark said hey you lose all your efficiency with the uh, array spread which is totally true. Um, let's see. Uh, every iteration, he's basically saying, hey, you should push. And I don't think this code is correct. But anyhow, yeah, the idea is that you should push in each time. So uh, nerve clasp was the most helpful. He gave me like actual metrics. So let's grab this because he's basically saying, hey, the reduce is nice. But the problem is using this spreading is a really expensive operation, as you can see. So if I come over here, let's go ahead and just remove this and this. And let's add in the code he gave me, which you should never just run random code that people send you unless you know what it's doing. But this is pretty basic. All I'm doing is basically creating a bunch of arrays and then testing the performance. So here I'm starting with a starting time and then ending time and basically seeing how long just the spread array itself takes. We're doing the same thing inside the reduce. And uh, let's see, we're doing the same thing here with a push. And as you can see here, this one is really expensive, which is the one I was doing earlier. Now, this is with a thousand items. So I'm not going to see this kind of dramatic effect with just the few items that I have, but the point is still the same. And so you can see that basically he's saying, hey, this is really expensive to spread in the accumulated value each time because you're copying every single thing in the accumulated value every single loop. So it doesn't actually help at all. In fact, it makes it worse. So I really appreciate this kind of comment because it's the kind of thing that I just don't think about not having a computer science background. And it's easy for me to avoid things like different algorithms, how they interact with performance. So I really need to get a lot better with that. So one more note, and that is if you have a suggestion for how you learned that, I would love to know that being self-taught. Um, those are That's definitely a hole that I need to fill. Okay, so let's go ahead and just take the same idea and apply it to what I've done up top and we'll adjust this final array. So let's come up here and let's let's just use this same kind of metric he did. And instead of doing the new peep, we're gonna do now dot perf or performance to now. I think this is how you do it. Dot now, and then we'll just subtract the T zero. So let's do this here. And you can see that this is what we're getting back. Okay, so now I know basically how expensive this thing is. So let's do the same thing down below. I'm gonna grab this. And we'll do T1. And let's see, let's just grab all this as well and add it in here. All right, and then this will be T1. All right, so let's run this again. So you can see I, I actually am getting metrics back for each of these. Now, in this case, it actually looks like this is still better than the double loop. So I think technically it is still better um, unless I'm missing something, uh, which is quite possible. <laughs> so, but let's go ahead and fix it the way uh, that I had several people suggest, which is by using the push method. If you don't like the reduce, that's fine. You don't have to use it. I think it's a lot more compact. And once you understand it, it's pretty easy to, to work with. So, but I, I understand that that's maybe not everybody's preference and that's just fine. So what we're going to do in here is instead of returning all this kind of stuff, all we're going to do is take the ACC and we're going to push into it. And here I'm going to spread in the person object, which I'm copying all those values. That is true. And then, and it's obviously just a shallow copy, but that's what I've got here. So not a big deal. Uh, then we're going to add is... Uh, cool, equal to true. And let's see, what am I messing up here? Oh, I don't need this. 
Okay, so there we go. And then we'll return the ACC. So I'm just basically pushing into it and then returning each time. And obviously if it's been altered at all because this is mutable, it will then pass that on to the next loop, the next iteration. So let's also come down here and const t2 equals performance dot now. And then let's copy this down right here and we'll change this to third. So I think I'm doing this correctly. Uh, I'm doing this off the top of my head. So hopefully that's what people were suggesting. Let's come back in here. Okay, so you do see that we actually do get a performance difference. In this case, it's not that much. As you can see, it's it's uh, fairly small, but I think that's just because of the size of my actual people array. So maybe let's take this and let's add, let's say like add uh, 900 additional people to this array. And I'm just going to use ChatGPT. This is through Raycast. Okay, so that will work. Let's go ahead and come in here. All right, so let's run this again. All right, and now you actually see the difference between those. Now, I'm not sure why with so few, uh, this one looked like it was a little bit better. So it looks like it wasn't better, right? just like the original example showed in the comments. But you can see that now with adding a bunch more items to the array, if I come inside here, uh, this one right here is the first one right here. This is just looping over it twice. And it is still expensive, but not nearly as much as the second one that I created right here, this beast. Because again, I'm spreading in and each time I'm copying over the array. Because it's an expensive operation, the larger the array gets, it would make sense that adding uh, like 900 something odd people to it, now each of those copies is more expensive. And so the end result is way more expensive as well. And now all the way down this way, if I have this new one where I'm pushing in, but only looping over the data once, you can see it's about a third of the cost of the very first one where we loop over the data twice. So by fixing one problem, the double loop, I added a much worse problem, and that is spreading in the accumulated value to that point, which once you especially get to larger values, suddenly becomes very, very, very expensive. A huge thanks to all those who pointed out the performance issues, especially to Nerve Clasps, uh, who gave me all this and took the time to write all this out. I really, really appreciate that. These are the kinds of comments I really enjoy. I did this channel to start learning more, and so the more I can learn, the better, and I really appreciate you taking the time to help me out. Well, I hope this little deep dive was helpful. I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.